thank you so much. Well, before you know it, that familiar chill of fall air will officially be here. It's ushering in this weekend. Uh, you'll want something kind of cozy to fill up your belly, especially for your loved ones. And here we called on Chef Eric Wells with just the thing. It's a soup that is perfect for fall. How are you, Chef? Hey, Sissy, it's how always you so doing? good to it's be It's good to you. see you as always. Right, first of all, as we start out now, mm -hmm. what number is this? Uh, 89. This is his 89th <laughs> time on Fox 8 News in the morning. I'm I not counting, though. I almost don't know. 100. <laughs> That's incredible. And the reason why we keep bringing you back is because you're amazing, and the food that you cook is always so delightful, and <laughs> our you. viewers just love you so much. Thank you, guys. So today we're doing a little roasted butternut squash soup here, oh, Sissy. Okay. Uh, one of my favorites, but I got a little twist to it. So uh, what I like to do, what I like to do is just start with the butternut squash. So I cut this one in half. Okay, and, and then here's what it looks like when you're one, looking at these in the oh, grocery store. Exactly. Now, yeah. I have to tell you, I've done this before. It is so hard to open these up. As, it, do you have a secret? I, I'm always like really concerned I'm going to hurt myself. Probably the most important thing is a sharp knife, you know, which okay. sounds crazy, but yes. And the important so thing did also, you go? Did you slice down it this way? How did you? How did you start this? So what I did was I cut off the end first, so I can have a, a nice little base, okay. just like this. And then went right down. Okay? okay. And what I like to do is cut it into fourths. So what okay. I did here was I cut this one or so, and this is what I like to do with this one. And again, sharp knife is very important. Sometimes. A sharp, very <laughs> thick, heavy knife. Yeah. Okay. So you take the seeds, or actually you roast it whole, you put a little olive oil on it in a preheated oven, 400 degrees, for about 45, 50 minutes. Uh, you scrape out the seeds, and this is what it comes okay, into. Okay, so you would roast it with the seeds? Yeah, I like the flavor with okay. the seeds, okay? Okay. And then when, they, when you're done, take the seeds out, um, dice it up, and we come in like this, okay? So what I have here is I have my little blender here. I'm just so you just discard them but you're cooking you you're, you're roasting it first yeah. with the seeds and then okay. you're going to discard the seeds after. Correct. There are okay. some recipes that say take them out first uh, however you like to do it. Well, we're like going to do it the, the way flavor. you do it because <laughs> you're amazing. Oh thank okay. you. And so there's a purpose for that. All right so then you're going to dice all that up. Correct. We dice up the okay. actual flesh the roasted okay. butternut okay. squash okay. again for about 45-50 minutes at 40 excuse me at 400 degrees. So we put that in there and then we add our flavor. So we're going to add some uh, first, some um, diced up um, carrots, um, celery, and onions. And that smells, that sounds, that, <laughs> was that what you were making over That's here? That's what I was sauteing Because when we here. were over there on that side, we were like, it smells <laughs> so good. Okay. And then from there, we're going to add a little heavy cream here, okay? okay. So the heavy cream is going to give us some creaminess. Uh, we're going to add some chicken broth. You can make this vegetarian by using, um, or vegan, if you want to use some vegetable broth. And some coconut milk would actually oh, be great wow. to okay. make it vegan. Yeah. And then a little soy sauce. Now, soy, I know soy sauce seems a little different, uh, but I like the balance and the umami that the soy sauce kind of gives. Okay. It gives a nice little balance of flavor. And then we're just going to pop this in here, push play, and then blend it up. So we, we let it blend. I don't want it to blend for too long, but I, we let it blend for about two minutes. Okay. And then it comes out nice and smooth. And I have one here for you, oh, Sissy. You uh, I like to this. top it with a little diced uh, oh, Granny Smith out. apples uh, and some blue cheese on there. A little drizzle of olive oil. So it's got a little savory, a little sweetness with the um, apple. Um, and again, with the um, blue cheese, is just amazing. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Oh. It's so, now, once you do that, then you just put it on the stove, or you don't need to put it on the stove, because no. in a blender for two minutes, it might heat it up, It's right? going to heat it up a little bit. You definitely want to put it on the stove, though. You want to kind of warm it oh through. My gosh. Um, you can actually eat this mm. uh, soup cold, which I like also, mm. uh, but it is one of my favorites, especially in this time of year, the fall season. Um, you always want to do something nice and comforting, and this is a comforting uh, soup. I can't believe how comforting it is and how <laughs> flavorful. Aww. And with that blue cheese on top, yes. I would never have thought about that combination, but it's it's out of this world. Mm, it's amazing. Incredible. Before we go, <laughs> let's talk about your cooking classes and what you have coming up. Yeah, so we have a couple of classes coming up. We have our Southern Classics class this Friday coming up. I only have four spaces left in that class. Sign up today for that class. The okay. links are on fox8.com. And then we're doing our game day grub. We're doing some like some nice little food for the football game. So uh, we're going to do that hands-on cooking class at Cornucopia Place. Please come check us out. Oh, my gosh. So, so many of my friends have done it, and they always say <laughs> it, it is so much fun. You do a great job. And oh, people really gel throughout the night and become friends. Mm -hmm. And what you've really done is incredible. 
incredible. It's a blessing. Thank you. Thank well, you, we're going to have the recipes so you can find this. You definitely want to make this. It's incredible, amazing, and we'll see you for number 90th appearance coming 90th. up soon, right? Exactly. I want a cake when I come in for 90, okay? <laughs> oh, you got it. And for the red carpet for number 100. Okay. All right, we're going to send things to Kenny Crumpton. Kenny, good morning again. Oh, my gosh. This is so good. <laughs>